Hey everyone, it's Steve Passanelli with Tech Savvy Agent, and I'm here today to talk to you about Top Producer's brand new mobile application. This application is a total departure from what Top Producer has been doing over the past couple of years, and I'm excited to talk to you today about it. Now, as probably most of you guys already know, when I'm not being tech savvy here on our uh, Facebook page, on our blog website, uh, my day job is with Move. And Move owns Top Producer, and Move owns Realtor.com and List Hub and other companies as well, like Social Bios. So I'm going to be flat out honest with you. This review is going to be pretty darn biased, right? You know, I do work for the company that made this program. However, though, however, uh, I had direct input on the production or the creation of Top Producer's new mobile application. I've been working uh, with some of the guys in the development team uh, and marketing and sales, and everybody worked together to share uh, their thoughts on how this product should be formed as well as a large beta team of realtors. So I have literally eight months of experience with this application. So what you're going to get in this review is you're going to get a different take about the future, the direction of the mobile app, some of the things that we were thinking when each feature was created. And if you know me, like I know a lot of you guys do, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. The mobile app's not perfect, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you the whole thing is perfect, uh, but we are working in that direction or towards going in that direction. And I'm going to tell you what's great about it, and I'm also going to tell you what's not so great having eight months of experience with the application, and that's what you're going to get that's different. If you want a totally unbiased view of this application, check out Suzanne Roy's review. It's on Inman Next. Suzanne Roy is a great blogger, and she is a friend of mine, and I think she did a fantastic job. Uh, but if you want some inside info right now, you want to get the goods and learn the future about it, then you're going to want to stick around for the rest of the video. All right, guys, first things first, uh, the new Top Producer mobile application is an HTML5 app. So that, yes, that does not mean that you go to the store and you download it. You simply go to a website address, you hit uh, add to home screen and it'll add an icon right here onto your home screen on your iPad or if you have an Android device, iPhone, etc. This is actually a good thing because the HTML5 enables what looks like a app-like experience, but it's actually all done from the web. And what's great about that is you can go from an Android to an iPad to any other device and you instantly know how to use the product because it's the same across all platforms. Really, really cool right there. Let's jump into the application and I'll show you some of the features within the app. The first thing you're going you're gonna to notice here is the actual speed in which everything works. As I flip around through the system, you can see I'm really not waiting for any one of these screens to pop up at all. And because it is in that HTML5 platform, that's what basically this allows. A huge complaint with Top Producer is it took way too many clicks and way too many button presses to do something within the application. So the Top Producer team took that to heart and they wanted to make sure that they built a solid program that was quick and easy to access. So for example, I want to uh, contact Veronica. Maybe I want to send her an email, uh, make a phone call, schedule an appointment. I don't actually have to click on Veronica, go into the record, select the activities, etc., or click on her phone number there. I can actually, if I back up a step here, right from the main screen, I can just swipe Veronica right on over and I can add that activity or make that phone call or send an email right here from the screen. What's so neat about it is if I select the email option it's actually opening my native email application on the iPad. Now as of today when I'm using the system right now it does not fully synchronize with Gmail and Outlook but that's actually supposed to come uh, by the end of this month. So if I send an email to Veronica right here it goes out through my Gmail all my contacts my calendar appointments and my emails will sync back and forth. I can add content into my Gmail account and that's going to be in my top producer on my mobile application and vice versa. So you're probably already comfortable using those apps. Now it's going to synchronize back and forth and it's going to do it seamlessly, which uh, I think that's one of the nicest features. And so look for that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and that will be free, by the way, the email, uh, Outlook and Gmail synchronization. You won't have to pay any more for that either. So pretend I sent this email out. I'm going to hit cancel. 
as soon as I jump back into the application, as you can see, it says track this email as a touch point. Sure. Add a note. I can add in any notes I have there. I can copy and paste something from the previous screen. Schedule a follow-up. You always want to do that. Hit the drop-down option. Uh, yeah, maybe I want to schedule to do for next week, and it's a, another follow-up email. I can simply select my options, and it's fast, simple, and easy. I hit the Save button, and boom, I'm right back to the contact record. So very easy. You're most likely, and, and this is the same thought that I had. When I first got into the first production or working version of this system, I kind of played around with it and I clicked on the different buttons and I said, is that it? It almost seemed like there, it was, it was too easy. And I, I do that a lot with Apple products too. The first time I used the Apple iMail program, I'm like, oh my God, this is, this, there's nothing to it. There's nothing you could do with this application. And then you start digging deeper and deeper and you see more layers to the app. And that is what they wanted to do with the program. A common complaint that people had about the, the top producer product in general is they added more and more features onto it, but didn't fix uh, the core components to the system. So yeah, there were great new features, but something was lacking in the, in the core components that would make it not work quite as seamlessly as it was supposed to. They took an entirely different approach with this application instead, and they built that solid foundation so when we add new features on, it's going to be great and it's going to work the way that it was intended to work. So obviously your calendar appointments here as well. You can view your all, all your activities. By selecting each option, I probably should have had some activities uh, in there, but that's easy. And remember, the calendar and everything's going to sync with your with your Gmail account, which you can forward other email addresses into your Gmail. The really neat part about this application is the leads pipeline. Now, uh, an, another complaint that I saw about the app because I've been reading all the beta testers' feedbacks uh, feedback from. Uh, them using the system over the past couple months and you can't actually add a lead into the mobile version uh, of top producer right now and the reason for that is the future roadmap of the mobile device is top producer previously separated leads and contacts and we're looking to bring those together again to make it more simplistic to make it easier to follow up uh, so your leads and contacts are going to be the same thing just with a, a different drop down or different designation that that you can add so that is coming uh, but that was one of the common complaints that people had so i'm in the lead section of the system right now you can see i have three leads here Here's what's really neat about it. If I go into this uh, second lead in line, the coaching pops up. This person's been a lead for four hours, 29 minutes, and two seconds right now. It even gives me a little statistic from NAR, 29% success rate of turning a lead into a client after four hours. Well, the little, um, little burb that you see on the side there, that actually changes as time goes on because when this lead first popped into the database, it gave me a different statistic for the first five minutes. So it's kind of coaxing me to make sure I'm doing something and it's giving me the actions based on what Greg gave me underneath here. If he gave me a phone number and that's it, only the phone number option is going to appear. If he gave me an email, only the email option is going to appear here. So really, really cool stuff. So let's say, uh, great, I want to uh, send Greg an email. I'll hit that button, the contextual coaching pop pops up, we're good to go. What if you get a lead, and by the way, Top Producer does allow you to download leads from over 40 different other lead providers, Realtor.com, uh, probably the website that you're using, etc. So what if you get a lead and it doesn't have any contact information? Well, this is pretty cool too. I just got this lead 15 minutes ago. Next action, uh-oh. Well, we don't have a next action because we don't know how to contact them. Take a moment to do a quick Google or social, social search to find a way to connect to this lead. So I hit that button, boom, instantly brings up Kyle Waldowski, and now I can see Kyle Waldowski's on Twitter, he's on LinkedIn, and maybe now I can get in contact with him right out of my top producer program. Pretty cool stuff. I'm going to wrap up this lead, and we'll go on to the next one in a row. Uh, the next lead I actually had in there for two days, so the contextual coaching didn't pop up. It basically said, you know what, uh, you probably missed out uh, you're on your window of opportunity for this one. Uh, listings and closings are in here too. You can't dive deep and change a lot of things in the listing and closing record yet. Um, this will become more robust, and this is going to be basically the direction of this application is this is going to be the new top producer and they're going to keep building and building and building and you're going to be able to use this obviously on any mobile device but also your Mac and that was another common complaint that people had about top producer it doesn't work on my Mac let me show you something that's actually 
really cool. And I'm going to swap out my iPad here for a moment. And I'm going to bring up my iPhone and I'm going to go into the same top producer application there. And we'll start, we'll start from the beginning, from the home screen. So you can see we have our contacts, my business, sales pipeline, properties. I'm going to go back to the uh, sales pipeline. And, uh, and let's choose, let's choose Greg here again. So there's the same contextual coaching, as you can see, in a different format, automatically made to fit the screen of the, uh, of the iPhone or the, the Android that you're holding right there. But let's say I wanted to send Greg an SMS because people like to respond through text messages these days. I hit SMS. It brings up Greg's phone number that he gave me. Hey, Greg, would you like to meet sometime tomorrow? Let's say around 3 o'clock. And there we go. Now I have a text message by using Siri right on my iPhone. I hit the send button. But another thing that you may want to do before you hit the send button there, and this is a fake phone number here. Well, you know what? I'm just going to hit send anyway. Let me just hit send and see what happens. So watch this. So I sent that message to that, <laughs> that fake phone number. I just touched the message and hit copy. And I can go right back into my top producer application and look at this, the wrap up of the lead. It knows I sent Greg a text message. Did you qualify the lead? Yes, maybe Greg responded with the text message. Is the lead hot? Yes, this could be a hot lead. If I say no, it's actually going to encourage me to, to do something else. It kind of prods me along there. Add a note, oh absolutely. If Greg responded with a text message, did you see how I just touched that message? And now I can go here right into the notes section and I can just paste that note right in there. Now this is the note that I sent Greg, uh, but I could obviously paste the note that, or the text that he responded to me with. And so I add that right into the notes section there, schedule a follow-up, absolutely. Maybe he did say, okay, let's, uh, let's have that appointment tomorrow at three. So I would select appointment, choose the date tomorrow, three o'clock, add that in. I would change the time there, obviously, and hit save. So this is what's so neat about the application. Now, Greg pops off of the leads list here, and because we made sure that we followed up with them, and the other two people I didn't do anything with, they're still sitting here, prompting me, hey, you need to do something. This is a new lead. At least schedule some type of follow-up with them. And that gives you sort of a, an overview of how that sales pipeline works, either on an iPad or on an iPhone or an Android device. Now, the mobile version of this application of Top Producer is actually missing a lot of things. And, I, and in Suzanne's report there, it said, uh, you know, there's no action plans. And we talked about the action plans extensively and, uh, and when we were gonna bring them into the mobile application, but we decided to spend more time on making sure everything went smoothly here because we decided as a group that action plans as a whole and non-personal communication and drip campaigns simply don't have the same power and impact that they did years ago. And people are looking for something a little bit different. And so we're working on something else that's different here for the mobile application where when you schedule follow-up, it's a little bit more personalized. So we have some amazing features that are gonna be coming out here fairly soon. And over the next uh, six months, you're gonna see some big changes here to the mobile app uh, as well. So I'm actually really proud of this product. A lot of uh, smart people and a lot of people um, put their two cents in into making this application. It's the best reviewed beta product that, that we've ever had uh, at Top Producer. So I recommend uh, giving it a try. Uh, just with uh, most of the Top Producer products there, you know, you can give the products a try and, and make sure that you like it. But this is definitely one of the easiest ones uh, that we have ever released. So please, if you have any questions uh, about why we did something, please leave it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer all the questions there and I hope I gave you a, uh, a decent enough overview uh, of the Top Producer mobile app.